Thank you so much to all you boxers out there who submitted games in our biggest game jam ever, sponsored by Quali. We were all so impressed with all the amazing creations that came out of this game jam. Let's hear what the judges at Quali had to say. And don't forget to tune in this week to find out the winners. Lights on off felt like something new. It felt like a nice combination between puzzle and, and memory games that had the player balancing risk and reward with every path they drew. I found myself starting off by trying to draw really long paths, but I'd, I'd end up kind of running into the walls. I really enjoyed playing uh, the art heist. Um, it's, a, it's a great game. It's a very unique concept. I thought it was a, it's very, very well designed. The idea is kind of stealing these items that you've been kind of shown beforehand. So there's this element of memory. But what I thought was fantastic about this game was the ability to turn into these different environments. Touchable 3D is one of those games that as soon as you kind of see it, either in your feed or, or on the app store, it immediately catches your eye. Um, it's got such bright colors and everything looks really, really clean and well put together. I was really impressed by Supermarket Fury. By the way, it managed to make chaos fun and enjoyable with a simple catching mechanic. I wish my grocery store experience was as much fun as this game. Balloon Rider definitely felt like a hyper casual prototype. It's got an innovative control scheme and a new concept that I don't think we've really seen much of. On top of that, the skill based target board at the end of a level is such a nice touch. It has you thinking about how you pop those balloons at the right time to get the highest score. And I can, I can see some really great ideas have gone into this. Wow. Railway Canyon looks so beautiful. I love the old Western Railroad theme. Maybe I'm biased. I love trains, but it does look beautiful. I would love to see them take this theme and concept with a different mechanic, such as drawing mechanic or throwing down the right piece of track in front of the engine and see what they can do with it. It's got great looks, good effort. After playing both the track, I think it does a really good job of taking inspiration on what is working in the puzzle upper casual genre. The aesthetic is clean and the gameplay is very elegant. I'm a big fan of puzzle games and I thought this game is, is executed very, very well. The, the sliding mechanism, um, the unlocking of new donuts with the whole progression meta game, I thought it's fantastic. It's, it's a very, very well thought through. It's visually great. It's well polished. I think it's a, it's a fantastic game to have been done in a game jam. I've been absolutely blown away by Totterbox. The, the level design, the way they trickle in the different mechanics and features and bring in things like Jet Boost to kind of help you navigate around the map, it's, it's really, really incredible. One Wheel is definitely a game that you can imagine in the top shot of the app store. Uh, visually, it, it's striking. It's very, very well polished. Um, the, the gameplay itself is very intuitive. The, the way different characters fall off the edge, they have different animations, the way the, the environment looks dynamic and alive with the unwinding track, it's, it's really, really unique and it's not something that I've really seen anything kind of do the same of either. So it's, I'm really, really impressed. 